Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome to Radhe Radhe YouTube channel. This is Virajashree. Today we are going to study about classes of vegetable science, which is very important for ICR, SRF, ASRB, NIT, NABAT, PhD, QHT. Okay, now we are going to discuss about globe artichoke. What is globe artichoke? It is also called as, its botanical name is Cinera scolimus lineus, family composite or Astraceae. Chromosome number 2n is equals to 2x is equals to 34. Center of origin is Mediterranean region. Ancestor or progenitor of globe artichoke is Cinaria cardinaculus. We also call this as cordon. Edible part, it is very important, which was previously asked in papers, is globular immature flower bird. We also called it as capitulum. Common names of it is also called as artichoke, hatichik, it is a vernacular name. And observe this uh, picture. We see this plant in a distilled, uh, the leaves are in distilled type, sharp pointed. Most of the globe artichoke is uh, harvested in young stages, young bird form. It is a herbaceous perennial crop. Small heads are eaten raw or cooked. These artichoke, uh, small heads are eaten directly consumed or by cooked. But large heads are eaten only after cooking. It is cross-pollinated crop. Natural cross-pollination occurs by the insects. It has a distal like plants. As if I said earlier, it has like uh, leaves are like pointed distal type. So it is known as distal like plants. Birds are harvested before they become loose and fibrous. After becoming loose and fibrous, uh, the marketing valuable is low and uh, uh, storage is also low so mostly these are harvested before they become loose and fibrous it is very nutritious and it contains appreciable quantities of proteins carbohydrates and minerals the thick receptacle known as heart is used for canning it is very important point just uh, notice it flower heads are considered useful in dietary of diabetics this you are seeing in the picture the flower heads these are mostly used in diabetics the leaves of beta are considered to be useful in dropsy and rheumatism these are the uses of this globe artichoke and coming to soil and climate deep sandy well drained soil with adequate organic matter is ideal for globe artichoke so the optimum temperature, optimum soil pH is 6 to 7.5. It is a cool season crop grown successfully at the temperature of 12 degrees centigrade to 18 degrees centigrade. Normally, it is a cool season crop, but it can't uh, tolerate heavy frost. The temperature above 22 degrees centigrade results in top birds and tendency to spread. The freezing temperature from minus 2 to 1 degree centigrade prior to harvest kill the birds and ground above ground growth. So below this temperature uh, it is impossible to grow means decals, the harvest of birds and above ground growth. So they stop the, the ground growth also. The above ground portion dies each year during winters and again emerge in spring. Propagation and planting. Plants are propagated by seeds or by suckers or division by old crones or offshoots from older plants in November and stored in cool moist places to prevent drying till February. Actually, this is propagated by seeds, by suckers or by division by old crones. These old crones are spread and they also use it in propagation and offshoots. So offshoots uh, mostly we collect from older plants in the time of November and we store it in cool moist places to prevent drying till February. So uh, mostly in February we again we use it for consumption means till February we can store this in cool moist places by seed. 
plants rising from the seed are highly variable and thus less popular. So mostly these are highly variable so this were uh, less popular not used much. It is raised by seed beds are prepared next by suckers or you of shoots. By suckers or offshoots, uh, we raise this, uh, it have a uniform growth and mostly preferable than seeds. So it is commercially used also. The suckers or offshoots are removed when they are 30 to 45 centimeter high. So when we collect these suckers or offshoots, when they are 30 to 45 centimeters high, these seeds, seeds broadcast and Seedlings of 10 to 12.5 cm height are used for planting. The crop duration of this globe artichoke is 6 to 7 years. Sowing time is August to October for plains and March to May for hills. Spacing is maintained at 120 to 90 cm at the time of transplantation. We should maintain this spacing at the time of transplantation. Harvesting, yield and storage. Plants raised from the seeds comes to bearing in 8 months. After sowing, after seed uh, transplanting, we get the yield at 8 months. Seeds means we uh, see the seeds appearance in 8 months. Plants raised from suckers or offshoots comes to bearing in 6 to 7 months. If we propagate by seeds, then we see for 8 months. The yield and if it's uh, propagated by circles or offshoots, then the yield will be 6 to 7 months. Yield 10 to 12 tons per hectare. Each bird is cut along with 2 to 2.5 cm long stem. The birds can store at 0 degree centigrade and 90 to 95 percent relative humidity for a period of 3 to 4 weeks. So these are stored in, the, in this temperature at this relative humidity for a period of 3 to 4 weeks. Pre-cooling of birds at 5 degree centigrade is practiced to achieve lesser weight loss and discoloration and indecence of decay. So this is our uh, storage uh, methods. In, we, if we pre-cool these birds at the 5 degree centigrade, then we can achieve, uh, we can get discoloration. No color will be lost and the lesser weight loss will be prevented. Varieties. There are different varieties of globe artichoke which are very important and very popular. So in that green globe and purple globe are popular cultivators. What we use for fresh market cultivators are Violet de Provenance and Catanese and Spinoza Sardha. So these are the fresh market cultivators. And the varieties for processing purpose are Binaco, Tarnatino and Pricoi de Jesse. So these are the varieties used for processing. The other varieties are Bull, Chidella, Brindisino and Romansco. So these are the other variety, other popular varieties. Coming to green globe, cultivars is typically fresh market cultivar with long and slightly pointed buds. So these globe, uh, these green globe variety have long and slightly pointed buds. Next, Magnifico. Only one new cultivator which is developed in recent years and it is grown in relatively few acres. This is a recent cultivator, recent variety which we recently uh, got into known. So it is uh, now we just started to grow in few acres. Next traditional cultivators. Traditional cultivators are propagated vegetatively. These are vegetatively propagated varieties. They are green. Means the globe artichoke is green and big. What are the varieties which are green and big are Camus de Bretagne and Castel, which are from France. And Green Globe, it is from USA. Next, the globe artichoke of green medium size it is Blanca de Tundla, it is from Spain and Argentina and Espondla is of Kyle. Blanca de Orga is Algeria. Sakis and Brand Bayram Pasa is Turkey. 
the other the other globe artichoke of purple and big size is romansco and c3 purple and medium sized globe artichokes are violetto di provenza brindisino catanins and nisimis and violetto di algeria and baladi these are the purple medium sized globe artichoke varieties and the spined globe artichoke variety is pinosa cerda and criolla it is of from peru so there are other cultivators propagated by seeds previously we we studied about cultivators traditionally cultivated by vegetatively propagated method these are by seeds for industrial purpose mardigal lorca a106 and imperial star are very important cultivars which were propagated by seeds and the green type is symphony harmony the purple type is concerto opal and tempo these are the cultivars which are propagated by seeds of different different uh, type of uses which are green which are purple and some for industrial use next coming to diseases curly dwarf it is caused by the virus so it, its vector is of virus control improved cultural practices including planting of garlic and onion will repel the aphids a prevalent enemy of artichoke this is a control method by which we can uh, control this curly dwarf disease next botrytis blight which was caused by botrytis cinerea it appears as a fungal growth and decay on tissue damaged by insect or frost when the weather becomes warm and moist this disease was caused when the uh, tissue was damaged by insect or by frost next coming to pest artichoke plum moth it is most common pest of artichoke which was very important also and it was controlled by spraying delta methrin for effective control of 0.0025% next aphids mysis bragi so it is a uh, aphid which is yellowish green while mysis fabia is black in color there are two types of aphids which mostly attack the artichoke the control of this aphids is spray of malothion 0.05% or oxydimethyl methyl 0.025% by spraying of these pesticides we can control the pest next thank you students like share and subscribe and we are going to continue this classes as usual so i hope this is very beneficial for your net srf and other competitive exams